Well, for quite some period of time now, at least probably a decade or so, we've needed more space. And so we, we knew that, uh, but when we thought about how to complete the project and how to move forward, we wanted to do something more than just build a space that would house people. We wanted to create something that was equal to this great institution and to the beautiful site that we're on. And so that was really part of the vision. Um, I remember when we were talking about the project at an early stage that I said that there are buildings that make the spirit suffer and buildings that make the spirit soar. And I felt that for an educational institution, it was very important to make the spirit soar. So that really was core to what we wanted to do. Well, it is a really remarkable site, and so that was really important for us to be able to find a design and a designer that could really maximize the beauty of the site. We're between Philosopher's Walk and the University on one side, and Queen's Park and the government and the city on the other side, which we think is perfect for great law faculty. And we've got the ROM and all sorts of design renewal all around us. So we felt that it was really important to create a building of some public significance. Um, like many people, I, uh, I walked by the McKinsey building before I ever knew who Hariri Ponterini was and uh, sort of stopped and said, oh my gosh, this is so incredibly beautiful. And so that really was one of the things for, for me and for us that made us think about them. I think there's sort of a timeless elegance that marries well with new buildings, not trying to mimic them, um, but that works well with the beauty of old buildings, which was important for us. So certainly McKinsey was really a critical building for me. And then I'm, I'm a fan of the architecture in general and love, you know, the Baha'i Temple and many other things that are very, very different in kind. But uh, the thing that really made the Hariri Ponterini design stand out was how site specific it was and how attentive to the context it was and how much it maximized the beauty of the site and also the use that we had to make of the building, of course. And so we've been working for several years now, refining that design. Of course, as things happen, you change the design as you go along and you realize what might work and, and what might not work. And uh, it's been a wonderful creative process of working um, with the architects and with us trying to figure out what we can do to create something really beautiful for this great institution. Mm -hmm.